Ramos. Welcome back, witches, wizards, and muggles to the place where we unbox, review, and explore. And today, we got another Harry Potter action figure coming your way. That's right, I was going through the hutch, and I found out I had two of them. So one of them is going to be open for each and every one of you to see. And if you love everything Harry Potter, wands, horcruxes, house treasures, you name it, click that subscribe button so we don't miss anything. But, I mean, enough rambling. Let's get to this unboxing. Yes, I love mowing. Let's do this. Wait, wait a minute. It's supposed to be unboxing. Ah, not again. Ooh. Okay, we made it finally. Okay, if you look behind me, one of these in here does not belong. One of these is an extra, a spare, one to be sacrificed for your viewing pleasure. And here it is. Ron Weasley's McFarlane figure. All right, here we go. The Harry Potter Ron Weasley from McFarlane.com. And right here, you can collect Hermione, Harry Potter, Ron, which we have right now, he who must not be named, and Buckbeak. So this is really nice. Um, I gotta admit the boxing looks a lot like the Mattel, but you know, that's neither here nor there. We want to get this thing open and see what it looks like, right? So let's get this. First off, we have the stand that everything goes on with that Harry Potter right there. And this right here is Ron's Patronus, a dog. And here we have the rest of the stand, plastic. As well as the stand itself, it's plastic. And the dog, I believe it's plastic. It might possibly be resin, but it looks like plastic. Ron Weasley himself in his muggle attire. So this would have been something he wore probably in a Deathly Hollows. And lastly, we have Ron's wand. Nux! It's just not big enough. It's not powerful enough for me and all of my greatness. But we have it all unboxed. Let's take a closer look. We got the pole that's going to be holding up the um, Patronus. So I'm going to show you guys how to put this together right now. So these are the legs for this plastic stand. They just go on like so. And then we get this. Stab it right there in the middle. Oh, but the stick is very flexible, so if you put too much pressure on it, it will break. But let's get this Jack Russell Terrier on here. It's on there. It's good to go. And we now have a stand for Ron's Patronus. And we got Ron, we got the stand. Let's take a closer look. So here we have Ron Weasley McFarland figure. This is actually really detailed. And the detail in the face is a lot better detailed than the Mattel dolls. The clothing has wrinkles in it as if it were actual clothing. It's all plastic. And we have his wand right there. All the joints move, which is really crazy. And then we come over here to Ron's Patronus. So you can set him up as if he were casting his Patronus. All right. So the more I look at this McFarland figure right here, the more I like it. But, but right off the bat, real quick, we're going to get... A muggle measuring stick and we're going to measure this wand because as we've seen in the other videos not all of the wands are the proper sizes or the size of the <laughs> i'm just kidding we're going to take the measuring stick and we're going to measure how tall this guy is so 
he's right around seven, I'd say six and three quarter inches tall. So this is a fairly good sized figure. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat though, some things I noticed about it. So let me show you this. This stand is plastic. It's extremely light. It's got one notch to hold this entire thing in. So it took me a good five minutes to get this guy on here and place to where he wouldn't just fall backwards or forward. Now that being said, I wanted to show you all these joints. So we've got a knee joint. He can hinge right there at the hip. We've got that ankle. And this is really, this is a really nice touch. Watch, you're walking through the forest, hunting horcruxes, but you need to walk. Oh man, oh my toe! Even the toe is bent. So we've got hinges at the elbow, the wrist, the head moves, the torso moves, sorry, the, the head. And the waist moves a little bit, but it more hinges at the hip. So this is really nice. It's got a lot of hinge action. But that being said, when I was trying to get him on this display, his leg broke. I was trying to get his leg bent in the right position and it broke. Um, I could see where it holds in place with the notches. There's a crack on both sides, but his leg is on there and it is functional. But I just want to tell you to be careful when you're placing him on the display. If you're using this as a collector's item, because although there's a lot of moving parts on this, it doesn't move too easy. It takes a great deal of effort to move anything. And right here, I just noticed he hinges right there at the shoulder joint. Actually, that would be your right above your tricep. So that's anatomically incorrect. <laughs> but that being said, this this is nice. This is nice. So I'm going to show you a little bit closer the details on this. So if you see his shirt right up top right here, it looks like a shirt that's actually been worn and his sweater has like that perfect sheen to it It's also got wrinkles in it and the hood they did really Really nice detailing the clothing on this and if you look at his pants, we got the back pockets right there and the pants kind of look uh, They kind of look like corduroys Then we got the boots they did really good detailing this right here. And the face. The face actually somewhat looks like Ron. If you saw the Mattel figures of these guys, their faces look nothing at all like them. And of course, we have his wand, which keeps falling out of his hand. But <laughs> all in all, this is a really, really nice uh, figure right here of Ron. Now, we're going to go... To the Patronus. So the Patronus, everything is plastic. I believe even the Patronus is plastic. I'd like to say it's resin, but it's really light and I can see through it. So I, I, I'm going to lean towards it's plastic. So we got a stand right here. These, I guess if you want to raise it up, um, have it more on a pedestal. Um, I feel like this should have came with three and maybe it did and I dropped one and I just can't find it. Uh, but these will not hold the weight of this awkward uh, Patronus because it's not evenly distributed with the weight. But here is his Patronus, Jack Russell Terrier. And I really like the way they made it see-through because that's how the Patronuses are. The Patronuses are completely see-through. And this is really nice detail. You can even see the eyes. The mouth, the jawline, we got the ears, the tail, and it's as if he's running. So this is really, really good detail on this. I will give them a one-up over Mattel because they did an extraordinary job with all the detail and everything. I really like these guys. If, it, if you can find them, I think, I want to say I bought these at Target. Um, but, again... They don't carry the Mattel dolls anymore. Um, Walmart might have had them at one point. I know Walmart had the Mattel dolls, but I know for a fact they don't carry those anymore. So maybe try Walmart.com, Target.com. Um, you could probably find them on eBay and Amazon now. But these are really nice. As a matter of fact, actually, now that I think about it, that's where I got all these was Amazon. So this 
And this right here, these are amazing. I think if you're looking for a figure that looks exactly, well, I mean, close enough to Ron, this is it. And it comes with his Patronus, so this is amazing. And I can't wait to put this back in my display case and put it right in front of the boxed one that will remain sealed forever like the Chamber of Secrets. And there we have it, a super short, detailed unboxing of the McFarland version of Ron Weasley figure with his Patronus. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking for a figure that remotely looks like the character from the movies, I would go with the McFarland version over the Mattel version because the Mattel versions, they look nothing like the characters, but the McFarland versions, they actually look like the characters. The clothing's more detailed. Everything about it is more detailed. I couldn't be more happy with these purchase. And, you know, that's all we have for today. And, hey, Ron, you want to do me, the, you know, you want to help me out? <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Nux.